YouTubers, welcome to part two of the Quick Fire Bass Boat Restoration. Today, I'll be picking up the boat and bringing it back to my place where I can restore it back to its old glory. So sit back and join me on this ride. There goes that baby. You're gonna be mine for a few days. Here for the pickup. You guys see this baby? It's not gonna look like this anymore. Also, too, you wanna make sure you get the, the chain locked on in here, because out here we get pulled over without these on. You will get a citation. I haven't, but I know people that have. guys so the boat finally made it to its final destination where I'm gonna be restoring the boat and showing you guys the step-by-step -step process that I take to get there and if you guys have never trailed the boat before it's definitely a, uh, a learning curve where you definitely got to learn and, and practice and you know you're not gonna get the first time this is not my first time but obviously you know, it took me some time to get where I'm at, where I can trail a boat and back it up comfortably and even, you know, bring it to the to the dock and even back it up and remove it. You know, you're always worried about, oh, yeah, you know, people are going to probably uh, be behind you like, why are you taking so long? But actually, people are actually really helpful when you get to the docks and you want to get there. So, you know, but besides that, let's get to the point here. Um, if you ever work on a project like this, restoring a bow, you want to make sure you have all the things here. I have my 2000 PSI pressure washer. I have my purple power, which is my degracer. And then I use the red one, which is I use for the outside. You want to make sure you have a handy trash bag and all the other tools to drill. Um, you know, do a walk fire. As you guys can see here, there's a whole bunch of debris everywhere and I want to make sure that I get all that as well as ripping out all the carpet. And don't forget your elbow grease. Oh. Ooh, elbow grease. Dad, are you sure that's like elbow grease? You see? Are you sure that's elbow grease? Oh my God, this is not elbow grease. What? what? Car grease? No. I told you that was. Let's oh get God. to the business.
yes, so so far I already took out the the hardware that that the customer wanted to remove. And it's, it's hot as hell as you guys are seeing me sweating right now. It's kind of rough, but I got to the windshields off, the pedestal base, the fish finder, and some of the extra straps that he wanted out. So it's now, the fun part. Ripping out the carpet, baby. Yeah. So all the carpet is out in here. We're able to get all the carpet out and everything in here. And then eventually tomorrow, this is getting that dark. I will continue in the power wash, take out the leaves and all that good stuff and keep keep teaching you guys the process. Keep you guys save save some money. So today I'm gonna power wash this baby. I just swept it up. I got more debris in the garbage bag right here. So all the stuff that was in there, carpet, leaves, all that good stuff. Um, she just stripped out everything now. Pretty bare bones right now. And also to another thing I'd like to let you guys know too is this is a nice um, vacuum to have it's very portable actually just hook it up to my boat battery see how it goes right here and actually this is a dry and wet vacuum so this really comes in handy because it's really portable I can move it all around the boat it does dry and wet so if there's some wet crevices I can always dry it up and suck it up with the vacuum so this is a very handy vacuum all right now let's go back to the work. I use this one here, the degreaser, for the inside of the boat to kind of take the glue and all that from the carpet and everything off. This is really good for that, so that's what I'm going to use first to get all the inside, the gunk and everything with the pressure washer. And then, and use, then, I, then I use this, this is actually I use this for the outside of the boat to get a lot of the shine back. And then I, once I do that, I'll be buffing it. So. We'll get to that after all this, so let's get to it. Polishing. I really like to use this uh, tur turtle wax. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of it, a turtle wax. But this one is a specific one I like to use for the polishing. 
This is a heavy duty compound rubbing. And then you always gotta make sure you got your handy buffer polisher. This is what I'm gonna be using to make this baby shine. Now let's get to it. Today is the final day. I'm gonna be working on putting the rest of the carpet on this boat. I took out all the the covers so I can take out some of the more uh, the more harder to get hardware. So now I'm actually gonna be cleaning them, just clean them off, and I'm gonna start putting the carpet on there with some of that adhesive that I showed you guys in the in the last clip. But yeah. So I'm gonna keep it going. You guys follow through, and when I, when it's done, we'll get the full results, and hopefully you guys will be glad of the results, and we can get some comments, some likes, some new subscribers. So check it out, and let's go. <laughs> second upward engine that's going to be attached to the back so these are lock screws I'm going to go in the back and then the attachments will go on here for the for the upward engine these two and then these will go into the back of the boat the fiberglass and I'll add two more once I'm able to make sure these are already in so We'll see how it looks after. All right, guys. So this is the final results of the Astro 1989 restoration. So I was able to put the second engine like the customer requested. I showed you guys the process. I'm happy that you guys were able to go through this journey with me. You guys can see there's some shine back. There's no more white oxidation on there. I was able to remove the carpet and put new light carpet in there that the customer requested. I removed all the hardware that he requested, the fish finder, the windshields, and so forth. Replaced it with some carpet. We did the steering wheel, the back, storages as well. And it's looking fantastic. The customer's happy. Everybody's happy. Um, and hopefully you guys were able to learn something, pick up something, leave your feedback, comments, likes, dislikes. And on to the next. And see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.